Metric System Prefixes The metric system uses many standard prefixes that associate various powers of 10 with a standard unit. Examples include kilograms, centimeters, or milliseconds. More prefixes exist than are listed in this table, but here are a few that you should know. Each prefix has a symbol associated with it, such as a capital M, which stands for mega, or the Greek letter mu, which stands for micro. Each prefix or symbol represents a certain power of 10. As you should know from your studies of powers of 10, the powers represent the scale factor, or how much you multiply the standard unit by. When you combine a prefix with one of the standard units of measure, such as a meter, you get a new unit that includes both the prefix and the standard unit. For example, when you combine a kilo and a meter, you get a kilometer, which is equal to 1,000 meters. The symbol for a kilometer, km, combines the symbol k for kilo with the symbol m for meter. When they are combined, you get km, a kilometer, which is 1,000 meters. In many cases, it makes more sense to describe something using big units, like kilometers, rather than small units, like meters. Several of these other prefixes are commonly used with meters for length measurements when you want to measure something that might be much larger or much smaller than a meter. Consider the nanometer, a good unit with which to measure the wavelength of light. One nanometer equals 10 to the minus 9 meters, so a wavelength of one nanometer equals one billionth of a meter, a very small length indeed. At the other end of the scale, you are probably familiar with the term megapixel, which tells you the resolution of a digital camera, or with gigabytes, which tells you how much memory is in the computer. Whenever mega or giga are used, you know that extremely large numbers are being described.